Six years ago, Tsuguru moved to Portland from Tokyo. He had two suitcases. He was young, but he had a vision. He had a dream. And he knew if he could just prepare in solitude and silence and focus. He's broken national records on the track and the marathon. But as soon as he's done and as soon as he's accomplished something of this nature, it's the next marathon. It's I know I can go faster. It's a really rare trait in somebody as talented as he is to also have that other piece. own the pain or the pain owns you okay come on get your composure now yeah so Sigu right now is uh, this is really his last marathon simulator well, we're about three weeks out um, but without getting too much into the details really we just try to to mimic as much as he's gonna face um, at his uh, marathon trials here in a few weeks but today is, is pretty darn hard I mean it's it really gives us a great indication usually of what sort of fitness he is in and, and so forth and it's something that Sugru and I have used for his uh, for all of his marathons and, and so far it's been really good this training buildup for Tokyo has been absolutely phenomenal um, but there's a lot that can happen over the next 21 days um, so every day we just take it one workout at a time and one run at a time, but uh, he's doing, just doing awesome. When he ran 205 at Chicago, it might have been a surprise to everybody else in the world, but not to us, because we saw it out there on the roads of Boulder, and I see it now on the roads of Boulder as he gets ready for his Olympic trials in September.